Hi, I'm Stephanie from Renovation Baby and today I want to show you my garden reveal. We've been, this is the space we were started with and we've been super busy. We've done everything ourselves um, and it's taken a few months but every weekend we've been out here and getting any bits and bobs done in the week that we can and we have created this amazing space that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, as you can see, we've got this pergola that we've built ourselves seating area graveled we've got a little wildlife pond we've got flower beds we've got arches we've got screening and it's just so lovely um, we used to have the children's climbing frame up here but as they've got older they don't use it so it, it's it was a really large space and we were really struggling what to think what should we do how should we make the most of it and so we've taken a little while to decide but we knew that it needed to be something special for us to be able to retreat to get away from the house i work from home so it's nice to have you know go get a break from the house and sort of be able to go to somewhere so i'm going to give you a little rundown on what we done briefly but i'm not going to go into any details about it because i will do additional videos so subscribe below so we put the fence post in and we've bought these fence posts they're not pagoda posts or anything like that anything special um, we called it wood henge whilst it looked like this then we did the roof supports because we needed it need to take the weight of this roof because we were going to actually have a fixed roof so we've got somewhere sheltered so we put the roof stru structure along like this and the little noggins we decided to do flat so that they were kind of a little bit less discreet more, more sorry more discreet because um, we're going to put plywood on the top of this so they kind of would lay in with this and it's all going to be painted so the fence posts we bought were actually cheaper because you can see they're really rough and they're not that great quality but they worked out so much cheaper to do this and I just used our Ryobi palm sander hand sander to be able to take them down like it's still got those little lines in there but once painted it was not that obvious but that all had to be done before all of this got painted now my neighbour joked to me that uh, I am constantly with a paintbrush in my hand because there was so much to paint. <laughs> so all of this got painted in Urban Slate by Cuprinol. Then we gave the plywood sheets a paint on the underside before we put those up and then we got those fitted to the roof structure. And uh, as you can see, it takes my husband's weight so it um, was built nice and strong. Then we decided to felt it. You could do a rubber roof if you wanted, I presume, get someone into it, but we felted it and then we sealed all of the little nut, all the little nails and all, all of the gaps and edges that it was over. Then I came up with a great idea of inst like, instead of having a fascia, let's have a planter with plants in it and then that would hide the roof felt and it would make it look pretty and it would blend it into the surroundings because I wanted to create a little like, hidden place up here so it kind of would blend the whole structure into the garden planting around so we got that done we lined it with a pond liner and we created a drainage system inside it using these little cups um, these are what you would use on like a green roof so I kind of went with the same theory of that's what this was they needed the plants needed to be able to take a lot of sun not a huge amount of watering because it's not a great place to water um, I have lost some already but I think we've just set so much sun and they're not established yet the root system's not grown but the ones that have done well are not quite so much sun they they're doing really well and they look really pretty and the little daisies trail over the ivy's going to trail over and the grasses and they're all plants that can take the sunshine so yeah so I was over the moon with that we did have to think about drainage off the roof and out these planters so we've got a guttering system on the back the little drainage system for the planter and it all goes into a water butt in the back so I can water all my plants up here with the rainwater which is good because we've now got a hose pipe there. so then where I wanted arches I wanted modern looking arches so nice and straight these are the same fence posts that we used to build the actual pagoda with um, I'm gonna have plants growing up which I got in quickly and now but as you can see on the end results they've already started growing and they've reached the top and going around the top so I'm glad I got those in we created um, our edging using cotton steel for our flower beds because then that gave us a basis on what we could build um, we wanted cotton steel screening around the sides that gave us 
a more sort of secure and private sort of area um, and then they will rust up these ones haven't rusted as much because we haven't had much rain but they're starting to turn they're not so silver and then we started digging so we wanted a wildlife pond we wanted to sit up there watch the animals the little birdsies no fish going in there just wildlife so we dug a hole it actually went down deeper than that in the original one then we sanded it we fleece lined it and we pond lined it and then we filled it with plants but we also created a little waterfall using a solar panelled um, fountain and this is up on the roof where all the sun is then we got loads of gravel loads of rocks and we created all the rocks tumbling down into the pond which then secures all my plants because they're all in little pots so then that goes down there the waterfall as you can see by my husband's head trickling down so that's all powered by that little solar panel then we infilled the little stones and just created a really lovely area so i wanted it more as like a little room so we wanted to add some batten uh, sort of screening to it in the large material that we've used previously so this was before so we're going to take those two back panels and we're going to fill them with um large battening it using our rehobo nail gun which was gifted to me and i it made the job so much easier we literally could just cut the battens sand down the ends and then we were able to sort of tap them into place and we've kept the same gap um, as the mills as the actual battening so I'm going to do a full how we did this post um, and then we use the nail gun to secure them into those big posts so you can't see the nails they're all hidden around the back and it just looks really seamless and I absolutely love it um, it also all needed oiling so if as long as you oil your larch it will last and stay this lovely beautiful color for so long and obviously where we've got quite cold colours with the greys it just warms up the whole areas so then we install some lighting again we use solar panel lights these were gifted from me from lights.co.uk and they lived up on the roof and we've got wall lights which are brilliant because i didn't think we'd be able to get solar ones inside an actual the building um but the little cable can go through the back through the little battening and it can just be powered like that and they look amazing and they light up that whole space and it looks very very special at night so i also got some little lanterns but these these ones are ba battery powered but they've got like a little flicking candle in them and they can be hung or put on a coffee table or down on the floor wherever you want then i got some solar paneled spotlights and then these light up all the arches so i got four of those but they're brilliant they've got their own little solar panel again i'll do another big post video on this and then that was our final place. Now I just absolutely adore it. This is a very special place for us now. We can, we've used it so much. So please hit the subscribe below, below button below and you can keep up with any other projects we take on. And thank you very much for watching.